was a good nap. Oh crap, wait, we're recording? Uh, uh, uh. Hey everybody, Dmod, Dmod here, and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. In the last episode, we chased after Croco the Coin Thief. And we managed to get, get back Mantle's precious coin without too much of a hassle. However, while we were away, the Shysters came to play. And they've taken over the town. Thankfully, though, at this point, we've pretty much cleared the most of them. However, they're coming from somewhere, and there's only one building they haven't been in left, being the Chancellor's building. So there's a pretty good chance... Get it? Chance? Chancellor? It's a pretty good chance they're coming from there. So that being said, looks like that's where we're heading this episode. That being said, though, before we go over there, just a few things I want to say quickly. And that is that my stats may be a little bit different from this episode to the last episode. Because, unfortunately, I was a dumb dumb and forgot to save my game before I closed it last time. So... I had to quickly replay back up to this point. That being said though, it didn't take too long thankfully, but my stats may be slightly different. I tried to keep it mostly the same, but there's only so much I can do. So yeah, if, it's, if things are slightly different, I apologize for that. But here you go. Actually, I should probably show you my numbers too. There. Now you can truly compare. <laughs> Anyways, that being said though, there's one other thing I highly recommend you do before going over to the Chancellor's building, and that is I recommend you go over here to the Terrified Shopkeep and uh... Sorry about this. Sorry about this guy. I'll, I'll, I'll have the town back to normal soon. I promise. And while we're here, we want to pick up a honey syrup. I recommend you have like two of them or so because they're going to be very, very handy. In fact, you know what? I'm going to buy three just because why not? I like me my honey syrup. What can I say? Yeah, I highly recommend you have a lot of FP on your hand before going into this. That being said, though, whenever you're ready, it's time to make forward and go forth to the Chancellor's building and dodgy shots just while we're at it. Now, the shy stars are going to be all over this building, and while you can go ahead and explore, there isn't really much of a reward for taking them on, unlike in the town, so I'm not really going to bother here, but if you want to fight them, you definitely can. I'm just waiting for a good time to get through. And there you go. All right, and we're going to try and dodge this one as well, and holy crap, they are everywhere. We're going to try and sneak on in, and we've done it. And I tried to run through, but I didn't get through. Oh, well. All right, shy stars, same as usual. We fought tons of these guys. At this point, you should have these guys, like, locked down and how to fight them. Very, very simple enemies. Alright, go for the unarmed punch. I really wish Mallow had a weapon to do more damage since he's still doing only two, unfortunately, without using Thunderbolts, but oh well. And wow, I missed the hammer timing. Okay. Come on, one more time. There we go, get the hammer, and this should be it. Even if I mess it up, he's done. And there we go. Shives is defeated. The way is clear. Let's get going. And whenever you're ready, let's do this. Where do you think everyone went? Well, gang, looks like we have ourselves a new home. We can bounce all around all day, and there's no one, and there's no one here who can stand our way. Yahoo! Let's bounce the night away. Well, they're having the time of their lives, but unfortunately, I'm the party crasher, dang it. Not so fast, pal. Look at him, getting the bounce. Hey, maybe we can bounce on his head. Listen up, gang. These guys are gonna put a stop to our party. Are we happy about this? You're asking for it. Oh, you're gonna get it. You picked the wrong field not to bounce with, bub. How about a fat lip to go with that ugly mustache? Ow! My pride. And just like that, it's time for our real first area boss battle. And uh, you can tell it's a real area first boss battle because of this music here. And holy crap, what a song it is. I'll let you guys listen to it before we go like later into the fight. But for now, we should probably talk about our fight right here. This is the first area boss of the game, Mac, which is probably the most casual name for the first, like, big, big, bad boss of the game. <laughs> Mac here has 480 HP, and he, and he has four Shyster minions, except they're actually called bodyguards. They are exactly the same as Shysters, they just have a different name, because they're special, I guess. Maybe they're, like, Mac's, like, best friends or something, I don't know. That being said, the reason why I said you really want to make sure that you have Thunderbolts on you is because you need to take care of all four of these bodyguards as long, as well as fighting Mac. And Thunderbolt is going to help you out quite a bit during this, so yeah. And Mac also has a weakness to Thunder himself, so using Thunderbolts is actually a great idea here, in general. Mal didn't get too much time to shine before this, but now this fight is the true time for him to really get going and start doing things. Which is nice, you know? After not being able to do any, anything real against Crocodile, it's nice to have a real boss that he can do stuff in. Like that, see? As you can see, hitting a Thunderbolt gives him a chance to be stunned every time you hit him with Thunderbolt, so very handy stuff. So typically the strategy for this fight that you want to go with is you just want to have Mario start pounding over at Mac and you want to have Mal take care of the bodyguards. It takes two Thunderbolts normally, but that's no problem. There you go. He does have a flame spell here, which is a stronger version of Drain. That's going to do how much? Nine. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, go for the hammer once again. 
And that's pretty much the whole fight. The whole fight is pretty much just taking on Mac, doing damage to him as he can, taking on his bodyguards of Malo, and rinse and repeat. And, oh, here's Flame Wall. Ooh, that's a bright Flame Wall. <laughs> I believe that's one of the moves that actually got like updated like in the re like in the re-releases of this game because I believe in the original it didn't look quite as vibrant, it looked kinda bland. But they updated it, which is kinda nice. Now I could attack it with my own specials with Mario to make this go by faster, but I kinda wanna save them for my thunder rules, but maybe I'll change that up. For now though, I'm gonna use a mushroom with Mario, he's getting kinda low in HP. Here you go, Mario. Eat up. I love that little thank you emote that comes up whenever you give an, an ally an item, it's so cute. <laughs> Go for another flame wall, and we are taking some real damage here. So I'm gonna go for a special with Mario. I'm gonna go for a jump. See, I got bounce with the cool ones. I'm a bouncer too. Go here for a mushroom Mallow over here to keep him alive. There you go. And hey, we got a freebie. This is one of the things that can occur whenever you're using items. Sometimes you use items, you get a freebie just for using it. And if you get a freebie, you don't have to actually use up your item, but you still get the effect of it, which is very, very handy. And, uh, my jump actually didn't do as much as I was hoping for, so I'm gonna just go for the hammer here again. I actually did more to my jump, wow. So much for a good special move, huh? Alright, go for Thunderbolt once again. And at this point, we pretty much got it down to a pattern. Ha ha, you missed. Hua <laughs> hua! Whenever, whenever I do a stupid laugh like that, reminds me of the Simpson character. And as you can see, Mac here has actually jumped up into the sky, which may make you think he's gonna come down with a powerful attack, but actually... All he does is kind of just hang up there. I don't know where he, he, he must have like grabbed onto the ceiling or something. But all he really does is hang up there until you take out his bodyguards, which then he'll come back down again. So nothing fancy. It just hit his way of making sure you have to take out his bodyguards before you can hurt him. So another reason that Thunderbolt is very handy. And there he is. Gonna go flame once again. I gotta say though, this pogo stick he's got, he's like he's bouncing on. It's pretty freaking cool. It's like a sword and a pogo stick combined. It's actually really cool. Kind of reminds me of Cloud's, Cloud's Downward Aerial in Smash Bros. If that makes sense to any of you people. Uh, let's see. I say you people like you guys haven't played Smash Bros. before. What am I saying? <laughs> ah, I'm such an idiot. Anyways. Go for the mushroom of Mario over here. Actually, I thought that was Mallow. Crap, my bad. Oh, well. Still works. And then Mallow. Uh, we may as well go for another Thunderbolt. We got some FP still left. So let's just go for it. Who knows? Maybe we'll get, we'll get a lucky stun. We did not get a lucky stun. Crap. Okay. Flame again, gonna do some damage. Alright, uh, hmm. I mean, at this point, I think it's just safe to say just go for the hammer. Like so. And then, let's go for another Thunderbolt, why not? Let's, have to, let's do some actual damage to Mallow, shall we? So, at this point of the fight, we pretty much got it down to a T because it's basically a rinse and repeat of this first boss. Take out the bodyguards, use the damage to Mac, rinse and repeat. Yada yada, very simple boss fight. It is the first one too, so you know, it's, it's, it's not expected to be anything too crazy. That being said, though, now that I've pretty much said anything I want to say about Mac himself, I think now's the time for me to shut up and let you guys listen to the awesome music that is this game. And that is its boss battle theme. So that being said, cue the music. And uh, apparently we actually did it. Wow, okay. I was just gonna come back and say that a good thing to note that I haven't mentioned before is that you can't actually block magic attacks, but Mac kind of just disappeared as I was gonna say that, so that works. 12 experience, 20 coins, and the castle saved. Not bad. And apparently Mac was guarding something. Something that looks pretty neat, if you ask me. And with that, we've gotten our first star piece. Now, what exactly is a star piece? I don't really know, but hey, we got it. Can't be a bad thing. 
This is not good. This is so not good. The mustachioed one is strong. Strong, yes. We must warn the boss. Come on. Yeah, it looks like we're finally rid of them. And, uh, poor Chancellor. It's okay, I'll give you a pat on the back. It's over now. Gracious. Oh, it's you, Mario. What a relief. Once again, Mario, to the rescue. But who were those? Chancellor! Sir, thank goodness you're alright. Mario, so it was you who got us through this. We owe you so much. And just like that, things have gone back to their peaceful ways. Not bad. First the princess, now this. This is just too much to bear. Mario! I'm gonna ask my grandpa for help. He knows everything. Excuse me, but who are you? Oh, hello. My name is Mallow. I'm from Tadpole Pond. Well, any friend of Mario's is welcome here in the Mushroom Kingdom. As I was saying, Mario, you are our only hope. Mario, please, you must rescue the princess now. Mario, I'm in your debt too. Let's head over to Grandpa's place in Tadpole Pond. He can help. Wait, why did they come to the Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? Guess I'll find out soon enough. And with that, could Mac, the sword-like monster who crashed the Mushroom Kingdom, have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? Our heroes move on towards the Karo Sewers. Wahoo. <laughs> I love the little pose he does. And yeah, that being said, though, we'll clear our first area boss, and we've returned to town to peaceful ways. Not bad at all, huh? That being said, though, I don't know how a old grandpa's gonna help us get back to the battle just keep to save the princess or anything, but, you know, it's worth a shot. It's better than anything we have, and I think I want to go heal up at the... Nope, actually, never mind. I got fully healed after the boss battle. Not bad. Thank you, game. I've been saying not bad a lot. It's like my new catchphrase. <laughs> that being said, though, we're all done here. So I think it's time we head on out. Over to... Actually, wait, 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 wait. Before we go, before we go, now that the town's not terrorized anymore, I think there's something we want to do over here first. Hey, Malo kept you. I'm starting to worry. Hey, mister. I got my coin back. Oh, well done, lad. Okay, here's the thing I promised you. There, make sure it doesn't go stolen, eaten, or whatever. Your grandpa needs it, okay? And we get the cricket pie. That sounds, uh... Nasty, but, you know, they're frog people. It probably tastes pretty good to them. You bet. Mario, thank you so much. Grandpa will be delighted. And there you go, guys. Little Aaron out of the way. That, that was the entire reason we went to go get that coin back, so we probably should do it. And one last final thing I want to talk about before we leave this place for a while, and that is right on over here. There's a little bit of a secret here that not too many people know about. It's right over here. There's a guy behind this building if you walk over here. Travel the monster. Smash them all. It'll do you good. Trust me. On this one. He's a very dramatic fellow, but I thought I should show him off. And what are you doing, sir? Sir, that's a corner. There you go. <laughs> Funny AI. Never gets old. All right, now that being said, now it's time to get going. And it's off for us, not to the bandit's way, but over here to the Karo Sewers. Let's check it out. And we've entered into a new part of the map over here. Into the Karo Sewers, we go. Seems pretty simple. This is the entrance. Grandpa says to watch out for Balloon, whoever that is. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. And off he goes. And so shall we. And, uh... The atmosphere of this place, Karo of the Mushroom Kingdom, and its music is, uh... A pretty big change of contrast, wouldn't you say? That being said, though, I should probably save my game, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Now, the Karo Sewers here is kind of like our first dungeon of sorts. It's a bit of a maze, and uh, you can get lost in here. But don't worry, your old pal d is going to teach you how to get through here. Or at least, hopefully, not get lost myself. <laughs> that being said, we have swimming for the first time in this game. And swimming is pretty simple in this game. It works just like running. You just hold Y to swim fast, and yeah, pretty simple. It's pretty much just like running. What does it say? Redirections on how to enter? I already know, so uh, no thank you. Pipes over here, they work just like Mario games. If you want to go through them, you just click down on them, and you'll go through like so. Nice and simple. And this place here, Karo Sewers, is kind of a maze made up of a bunch of these pipes. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing. That being said, though, I don't think we want to go into that pipe. I believe you want to go over here onto this one. These pipes all take you to different locations, so you can go, like, all throughout the Karo Sewers at your own will. So, it's kind of cool, but it can also get a little distracting. That being said, we got some new enemies here, so let's check them out. Get over here, dang it. 
So as you can see, we got a few enemies over here that are brand new. And uh, one of these enemies looks a little, little harmless. This one looks a little freaky. It's a hobo goblin. Or hobgoblin, my bad. Not a <laughs> hobo goblin, my bad. <laughs> we also got over here a fat runk. A rat funk, not reversed. Oh my god, what am I saying? These enemies here are pretty simple. The rat funks are pretty standard attacking enemies. And the hobo goblins, and I'm going to call them from now on because I love that name too much. They are spell casting enemies, so be careful. There we go, rat funk taken care of. And he's got a dark claw over here. Dark claw is a move that inflicts, as you can probably imagine from the color and me getting hit like this. I am currently poisoned, so that's not good. And poison works like any other RPG you can imagine. Poison needs to take a little bit of damage each turn. However, apparently their poison is like Fire Emblem 7 poison. It's very weak, apparently. Jeez, that only did one damage? Wow. The actual attack itself is way more scary than the actual poison. That being said, the mouse kind of taking a beating, so I'll him after this fight, but this should be it. Perfect. Not the most bulky enemies, not the most terrifying enemies, but they are a little scary because they have spells. And we got ourselves a like, Pure Water. So we get a Fire Emblem 7. We got some items from Fire Emblem 7 as well. Let's check it out. Pure water over here is a pretty interesting item. It's the pure water, as you can see over here, defeats ghosts in a wink. So if you use this and there's any ghost-like enemies, it'll instantly KO them, which can be used in some pretty specific scenarios, but it can be used pretty well if you know what you're doing with it. So it's pretty cool. That being said, I'm going to heal Mal up over here, and let's keep on going. Now, I believe you want to not go over this way. I don't know what... I was thinking of a different room. Although it's fine, because we actually get to, we get to show off another enemy over here. These rat funks also have poison as well, so that's good to know. So this enemy over here, this is the third enemy that we're going to be finding here that's new. This is a Shadow. Very simple name. And it definitely looks more like a Final Fantasy thing than a Mario thing, that's for sure. So as you can see, it has like no defense whatsoever. However, it has tons and tons of HP. So your attacks will be doing tons of damage to it. And hey, we're going to Lucky. Not bad. Alright. we go for a hammer over you. And I'll just go for a Thunderbolt over here. Nice and simple. Now, since these enemies are brand new, I'm going to be showing off these fights for a little bit. But after a little while, I'm going to start cutting them off here because, you know, once you see an enemy once or twice, you've seen it. It's, a, it's not a boss enemy or anything, so it doesn't do anything too crazy. They're standard enemies. That being said, I was waiting for the end of the fight here to show off what Lucky is because Lucky was uh, something that afflicts, uh, not afflicts, but starts off doing things at the end of the battle because lucky here will give you a chance to double something that you've earned from battle maybe coins or experience and how it works that i'm gonna do it right here get to find yoshi where's yoshi yeah i picked the one that has yoshi in it if you get it wrong you can lose all your experience if you get a tie you'll just keep the same experience you got already and if you find yoshi you'll double your experience and i think i'm gonna go for righty tidy it's a tie all right well nothing changes then if you get luck if you get a tie so not bad yeah, lucky, pretty handy stuff. Of course, you have to be lucky to get it. It happens if you take out an enemy. Sometimes it's just completely luck based and it's pretty handy. And I did not mean to go over here. Now, this is the confusing part of this dungeon. It can get a little bit confusing because these entries ways over here, you gotta just go from room, from room to room for them. So it can be a little bit confusing. And we got a new enemy over here I'm gonna show off as well. But down there's a pipe and I think we wanna go down that one from the looks of it. So over here we have some new enemies as well these are gobies that's right they're not uh cheap chiefs they're freaking gobies and i kind of like that name also ignore the fact we're standing underwater i don't know how we're doing this but i don't know that was a tadpole he can breathe underwater i'm sure it's probably fine as for mario though i'm not too sure very simple enemies are there's nothing really crazy about to say about them they're pretty much just standard enemies they, they attack you they're not very, very strong very simple there we go I'm going to try and make my best effort to show off like what every enemy at least looks like while I'm playing the game. So, if I miss out on an enemy, I apologize, but I'm going to try my damnedest to play every enemy at least once. Now, that being said, we're going to go on over here, because going on over here will lead us to this room over here. And I just walked right back to the entrance. Good going, me. <laughs> uh, let's try not to get lost in the camera, Zachary. Alright. Let's try not to do that. We're trying, to, we're trying to guide the people to the exit. We're not trying to get them lost in here. I believe over here is where we actually want to go. There's tons of enemies that I remember this room specifically because of this row of mouse over here. Gotta say, I like the, I like the sound effect when they slap you with their tail. It sounds very, I don't know. It sounds very meaty, if that's the right word for it. We'll go for Thunderbolts over here, take him off. I get the feeling we're getting pretty close to level 5, which is going to be handy. And wow, I already took him out. That was... I didn't even hit him once before that, so that's kind of funny. And hey, he ran away. All right, I mean, that works for me. <laughs> I love the runaway sound for this game. It sounds so funny. It's also chaotic, too. 
All right, so now we got to take care of those. Before we go any further, Mario has taken a beating, and I do not want him to faint, so we're going to go ahead and go for a mushroom over here. There you go. And while we're at it, I think now I'm going to use one of my flower tabs over here. There you go. As you can see, all my feasts come back, and we got one more as a bonus, so pretty handy. Let's go down over here, and what is around here? Uh, Got some booze around here. This is a new enemy as well. I'm going to show off and fight as well right now. So here we got booze, and apparently this is the big boo, even though he doesn't really all look all that big to me. But yeah, booze here, they're also pretty standard enemies. And wow, he didn't even get to do an attack. I probably should have went after the shadow first instead. My bad, big boo. <laughs> I was supposed to show off what he does, but if he just wants to get knocked out one hit, that's kind of tricky, huh? Go for a hammer on the shadow over here. Okay, so if I find another boo, I'll fight it just to show it off because uh, that was kind of pathetic. There we go, level 5. Alright, not bad. My hit's level 5. Get our stats boosted. And for this level up, I think I'm gonna go for power. Mallow also hits level 5. Get some stats boosts. And for Mallow, I think I'm going to give him... Let's see. I think I just want to give him special, to be honest. I just, I just want the Thunderbolt to be hitting as hard as possible, so... I think I'll go with special. There we go. Okay, so here we got another big boo over here. At least that's what he's called. And this time, I will not attack him instantly, but I'll actually let him do something. Alright, Shadow, you're going down. There we go. Go over here. I tend to like upgrading power a lot throughout this game, because most of the enemies, if you have a lot of attack, you can just plow through them, make it go by faster. Which is kind of handy. So as you can see, Boo over here has a move called Scream, which will cause fear in you. Which a fear, will, as I said before, it lowers your attack. But also something I actually learned while researching this, that actually also lowers your defense. And I forgot to mention that last time, so yeah. Fear can actually be kind of scary. I cut through attack and defense in half, so... It can be a little bit scary if left unchecked, but thankfully it's not that bad. There we go. Outside of that, though, boos aren't, that, aren't anything too crazy. And let's see. I think we want to go around to over here. I think it's this pipe we want to go into next. Yeah, we're definitely making progress over here. We got a box over this way, which will give me, I believe, if I remember, a flower tab. Yeah, flower tab over there. I'm surprised I remembered that, but I do. And I don't know why I ran into that, even though I already saw them coming. My bad. Okay, we're back. Let's not try and get hit by any more mice, shall we? There you go. That's how you dodge them. Very simple. And I see a box, and I want said box. Let's go for it. This box over here is actually a bit of a surprise, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you go after this guy. This boss here, or not... Okay, I don't know why I said boss. He's not a boss. But this guy here, he's a stronger enemy than normal. However, if you defeat him, he'll actually drop an item for you that you're going to want. So I recommend you take him on. And I believe he is weak to Mario's jump attack. And everything else he's not too weak against. So keep that in mind when fighting him. Zero damage. And let's see. I'm going to go for the flame wall. We just see this move. We already know what it does. Can't block it. Just got to take the hit. And a hit it does. That's actually a decent amount of damage. I'm going to go for a jump here. So as you can see, yeah, the jump does a ton of damage. It does a whopping 70. So yeah, spamming jumping against this guy. Very good idea. Going to go for scream as well. Unfortunately, he's going to make Mario afraid, so my jumps aren't going to be hitting nearly as hard. But, you know, it's still weak to it, so I'm going to go for jump. Yeah, look at that. I went from 70 to 35. Jeez. Fear is not to be screwed around with. It's actually a pretty effective, effective uh, status affliction. Going to go for Flame on Mallow, I think. Yeah, you're going to go for Flame on Mallow. Going to do 11. Kind of hurts, but not too bad. I'm going to go for a jump once again. Let's see. I'll go for a Mushroom on Mallow here just to make sure he doesn't faint. Can I get a freebie? I cannot. Okay, fair enough. Hey, I'm already scared of you. Stop screaming at me. Jeez. I'm gonna go for jump once again. I think he's almost done. He's, he's definitely tougher than most enemies you find around here, but he's not that scary. He's just a lot of HP. I hope if I wasn't scared or else it'd just be going by way faster, but you know, it, it is how it is. We gotta deal with it. And, ow, I did 22? God, that hurt. I'm definitely gonna be healing up this next turn. Wow. Uh, yeah, definitely heal up. That did way more damage than I thought it would. Good lord. There we go. Get him a mushroom. And that was his normal attack. I actually don't think I've ever seen him do a normal attack before. That confused the heck out of me. <laughs> Alright then. And I meant to jump. My bad. Ah, actually, that's okay. But anyways, okay, perfect. Take care of him. Get yourself a free flower jar for defeating him. 10 experience and 30 coins. It's all very nice and dandy. However, you also get a nice bonus for defeating him as well. You get yourself a transform pin. Or not transform. True form pin. My bad. And the true form pin is a very helpful item. As is a, it's an accessory 
That'll raise a few defenses and magic defense as well. However, another bonus of that is that you won't be turned into mushrooms or scarecrows, which sounds kind of weird at the moment, but believe me, these sad afflictions, they will be showing up in the near future, and they are quite annoying if you don't have a way to beat them, and this true form pin will definitely help you out there. Plus, it raises your defense and magic defense, so there's really no reason not to go for it. It's just an all really handy item. That being said, however, I think this is probably a pretty good cutting point for this episode. I know it's not as long as the other ones, but admittedly, the time I'm recording this, people are going to try and be sleeping in my house very soon, so I shouldn't be recording too late anyways, because I don't want to wake them up when they're sleeping, and then they get all cranky at me, and all that, and all that jazz and whatnot, so... That being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We fought Mac, we got here to the Caro Caro sewers, and we made our way through it a decent bit. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and next time on Super Mario RPG, we're going to try and get through the rest of this place. And trust me, I know I look like I'm lost, but don't worry, I'm a trained professional. I know what I'm doing. I think. <laughs> That being said, I'll see you guys next time.